record. So today was a huge, huge day for our team. And um, we have, you know, as you saw my post, um, I went live talking about go celebrate Tanner because um, she is officially two-star qualifying today. And so two-star diamonds, so yay! Um, and so this is a really big deal. Um, she's the first coach in our downline to hit that benchmark. And what's cool about two-star, um, so basically if you're a newer coach and you're like, what's this star mean? First, your first goal is emerald, and then it's diamond. And then once you are a diamond coach and you have coaches hitting diamond, you can be um, – a star diamond for every coach underneath you that hits diamond you get a star so uh, once you hit two star there's some really cool things that happen once one you can push to be a premier team which um, Tanner and her team will be premier this year what you have to do is you have to have a certain amount of elite points and that it basically comes from you um, growing your volume from the past year you helping your coaches from this year and the, the previous year um, hit success club and um, your coaches from 2016 having at least 500 volume points they get that gets you success club too so basically if you're hitting if you're hitting success club your team is hitting success club then you're going to be getting elite points so you she is going to be they are all going to be pushing like crazy because I think she needs 16 points exactly in November and December for um, elite points and she got they got 16 exactly um, or so October November December and so they got 16 points exactly for September so it's gonna be a push and you guys underneath her are gonna have to work your ass off but it's totally doable um, so just don't take the your foot off the the gas pedal until December 31st uh, because you're gonna have to push but totally doable so that's something really cool. Another really cool thing is, is that once you hit two star, so you, you hear, you don't just wake up. She's not an official two star diamond coach. Um, same thing with Angela Camelo. She is in her third week of, uh, um, qualifications for one star diamond. So you have to, your diamond, once it, your diamond hits has to hold that diamond for six weeks in order for you to officially be that one star, two star, whatever. Um, diamond coach so that's the hard part you can't just be diamond you're and then say oh you know now my coach is one star or two star you have to hold that for six weeks for them to be official and the reason they do that is because they want to recognize you um and know that like you were successful you know um you deserved this you worked like Oh, let me everybody. Um, you know, you worked like heck to get here. So it's not just boom, I'm this, you have to hold it. And six weeks is a really long time. I can't tell you how many times I've dropped in and out of qualification for, and you know, I'll wake up and I'll, I'll say, Oh my gosh, I missed something. And I'm, you know, I dropped and have to get it back again. Um, Tanner's going to hold it all six weeks. She's not going to have any problems, but, um, it is a struggle and it's hard and it's really like, you have to watch your sponsorship drill down like a hawk. And it doesn't matter if you are an emerald coach within that, within your downline. It doesn't matter if you're diamond, doesn't matter if you're star diamond, you need to be looking at your sponsorship drill down, um, and watch that volume video that I posted, um, from the dash to your booty to diamond group. I shared that with everybody and Beth Realman talked about volume and she also talked about your sponsorship drill down and how to check it and make sure that people aren't going, um, you know, inactive or anything like that. Because if you're Emerald and one of your coaches drops and you didn't like pay attention to your mom that didn't order her Shaco or, you know, somebody's order, you know, that they, they canceled their Shaco and you didn't reach out to them to talk to them about something else and you lose your Emerald. Well, the guess what? Your coach above you, that's a diamond rank loses her diamond possibly if she doesn't have another Emerald on that, that side. And then, you know, say somebody's in preliminary qualification for star diamond, they lose their qualification. So every single person matters and you need to start treating your business like a business and checking in on that sponsorship drill down. So if you have any questions about how to use it, reach out to your, your coach, your sponsor coach. They will be more than happy. If I get somebody that asks me how to use their sponsorship drill down, I'm like, Oh, because I want you to be tracking your business. I want you to care. I want you to know what that is. You are not going to be annoying me. It is annoying when I have to be like, 
oh, by the way, you know, make sure this person, no, I wouldn't say annoying because I, you know, I, I am going to do it anyway, so I don't mind doing it. I hope I'm not annoying to you if I say that. Um, but you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing it anyways, because I know that's part of my job, but I want you to also be engaged in your business and treat it like a business. So, um, I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay. Another really cool thing about two star diamond is that once you are officially two star diamond, you get to open a secondary business center. So what I am actually going to do is, and I want to explain it to you guys a little bit and show you in my drill down what this means. So my business, let me, and it's so quiet. If you want to chime in at any time, take yourself off, self off mute. This is not just me talking today. This is anybody can put in anything just low, um, laid back today. So feel free to unmute yourself to ask any questions. I see a lot of stuff going on in the chat. I haven't really been read, reading though. Um, all right. So let me share my screen. <sighs> okay. I, I don't know about anybody else, but seriously, like zoom and does not like full screen. Okay. Let's see now zoom share screen. Sometimes the sharing the screen part is crazy. And then I see what the heck. All right. Can you see my sponsorship drill down? Yeah. Okay. All right. So that, so you're looking at my sponsorship drill down in my first business center. I do not count Matt's as a second business center. I don't want to confuse anybody. Wait, in April, I can just see your team beach body website. Okay. Yeah, I can see either. All right. So when I click share screen, it doesn't give me the option. Okay. Now we can. Okay. <laughs> it's like, it didn't even give me the option of sharing. Okay. So you can see like Matt McDonald, Daniel Rhodes. Yep. Okay. All right. So I don't want you guys to refer to like a secondary, like a, a spouse or anything as a second business center. That's confusing. Just say like, it's another account that you can work. Um, so I've got Matt on my strong leg, which for me was a whoops. Um, <laughs> so always talk to your sponsor about where you would put that. And then I have, where did I go? Oh my gosh. I can't find myself. Okay, there I am. So this is my second business center. So it looks like April McDonald is one of my coaches. Once I hit that two star and I keep that two star for you know six weeks and I'm officially two star, then I can open up my second business center. So this is me sponsored as my second business center. So I think I opened this last March and I was able to get this to Diamond. So this is Diamond. So this counts to, as one of my stars. So one of my star diamonds is myself. Hi, thank you, thank you. Um, and so that's really cool because you get to add a star to that. Now, now you can open a ton of business centers. So if you've heard like, you know, you can be a 15 star diamond and Lindsay Matway has 15 star diamond in four business centers. That's like my first being 15, this one being 15, opening up another one. It's crazy to think about. But once you get this business, to two star your second business center, you can open up another business center. So you sponsor yourself. So what I did with mine is I put mine on my weak leg. If Matt was on my weak leg, I could put this, I could have sponsored myself within my first business center, but place him graphically or place me graphically underneath his weak leg to help him and I both cycle more. So I could have put, so that's kind of confusing. I, once I'm two star, I can, I can sponsor myself. It's basically like I'm signing myself as a coach and put me wherever I want. Graphically, I could put him, I could put me on his weak leg and say he was on my weak leg. It would also be gaining my weak leg volume. So that's actually, Tanner has that situation where she can do that. So that's going to help her, um, you know, with her. But for me, Matt was on my strong leg, so it wouldn't make any sense for me to put, um, myself under him. But so that my second business center is one star qualified. It went through the six weeks. I just, um, once I get it to two star, um, and qualify that, then I can open up another business center. And what I'm going to do is this is, so my second business center is on my right leg and I'm going to open up my third business center 
I'm going to sponsor it by my first because that's going to add a diamond, but I'm going to put it on the weak leg of this one. So that might be a little over your head if you're a little confused. Um, sometimes volume is, is confusing. Ask your sponsor to kind of draw it out and that helps you. But that's a really, really cool thing that's going to help really help your income grow. So I just wanted to show you that. And if you have any questions that, let me see if there's, Oh, gosh, yeah. And if you're a brand new coach on here, I just saw Rachel that Shay is on here. Don't, you're going to be like, what is this chick talking about? Don't worry. This is not anything you need to worry about right now. Don't worry. I'm sorry if I confused anybody. I just was, that's really cool. And it's easier for me to explain showing you. If you are confused, like you just need to focus on the beginning steps. So don't even be like, okay, I decided I can't be a coach because I don't know what this chick is talking about. And I'm also not good at explaining volume either. So I know that doesn't help. So, okay, so that was that. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, you can reach out. We can talk about that at the end. So what I want to talk about first is um, the Team Spirit competition that we're all going to run in November. So what's going to happen is, in November, when you sell a challenge pack, you get two Success Club points. That counts as two Team Spirit points. If you haven't signed up for Team Spirit yet, ask your coach how to do that. I've made a post several times um, talking about how to sign up. It's just go to a teambeachbodyteamspirit.com, register. You use um, your team sponsor. Your upline is April McDonald, and your team name is Be, Be Beautifully Made. Um, so you're going you're gonna to sign up. We're all on a team together. And then we are going to do a group-wide challenge group with everybody that's doing it, all of our clients. It starts officially November 7th, but we're going to open it up October 31st. That's a Monday. So it's just going to go all month. If people, wanna, if people want to come in later in the month, that's totally fine. I'm going to officially start it the 7th, and people have to. We are also doing a Biggest Loser style weigh-in starting on... Um, the 14th. So if they want to do that, they have to um, put in their money by the 13th. So it'll be a $10 buy-in. Anybody that loses 4% of their body weight, they have to take a picture of the scale every Monday when they weigh in, will get a portion of that pot. So it's not required at all, but anybody that, you know, any of your clients um, that want to do that, they can also do that as well. So, um, and I'll have to talk to you, Sarah, if you want coaches to do it. I know we're going to let discount uh, coaches do what. So talk, I'll have, let you chime in about the Biggest Loser and the um, Coach Challenge Group really quickly. I'm just going to also tell you that you Beachbody will match our two Success Club points if we get them into the My Challenge Tracker app. I don't love the challenge tracker app. I'm not going to focus on it. We're going to do most of everything in the Facebook group. So what I'm making them do to be entered into a prize is to accept the challenge tracker invitation and log four workouts and or four Shakeology pictures. That's it. We're not doing anything in the app. I'm just making them do that and they get entered to win prizes. If they don't want to do it, they don't have to. They you know, won't be able to be eligible to win prizes. But that's Beachbody will match those two success club points of for a challenge pack if they do that as well. So we're making that a requirement. If they buy a Shakeology on Home Direct, we, they, we get one success club point and Beachbody will match that. So we'll get one, so two total. So we Hey, get, April. Yeah. Are you sure that they have to accept it and log? Because I thought the FAQ that I read said that they either have to accept it or log the workouts. Um, it's or. Oh, really? That's I what I thought. So all they have to do is click accept. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought it was and or. Okay. Well, yeah, so I mean, they, would still be the same. Yeah, they literally have to do like nothing. Just click accept the group to get the extra points. Oh my gosh. Okay. So they just have to click. That's even easier. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, so you could also just tell them, hey, accept this invitation. It's a huge, um, you know, competition our team is running. You don't have to do anything with it, but just accept the invitation to it so we can get extra points and we can win prizes. Like, and then you get entered to win a prize too. So that's basically all you would say. So I am, November 12th is my due date. I, I wanted to have all of this planned and have a place for people to post and um, participate. 
I'm going to let Sarah talk more about um, the coach test group and also the challenge group, but it's, it's going to be one big challenge group and we're all going to be in there and we're all going to put our clients in there. So it's going to be huge and it's going to be awesome. We're just going to be like, this is a one-time thing because sometimes people see a ton of people and they're like, Ooh, just pump it up and you know, don't give them a chance to feel freaked out, make pump it up and give me excited that it's a big team event. We can win prizes, them posting and being there can help us. Um, kind of thing. And then um, I believe we'll also do a photo a day challenge. We'll keep you posted on that just so we're just going to have some fun things for them to stay um, engaged. So I'm going to let Sarah talk to you about our coach only test group. Um, that's going to focus on core to force because I haven't talked to her yet. And I think she, she's going to be in charge of that. So go ahead, Sarah. Hi, guys. Um, yeah, April, we keep like missing each other. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was listening to the Joel um, um, interview with Melanie Mitro the other day. I don't know if you watched that video, but it was really, really, really informative about um, Core de Force. It just answered a ton of questions. Um, and actually, was it in that video or the other one? It doesn't matter. But basically, what she said was that. She runs for her team anyone who is starting out to do the program. So anyone who um, is, is doing the program, so like anyone who buys it on the 31st and is going to do it for the, the first full month, um, she puts all of the coaches in a group together. And in that group, um, you know, it's kind of like an open forum. It's like a live, um, you know, review of the program, things you like, things that you're struggling with, um, how to post about it, how to, you know, maybe edit videos if someone wants to teach us how to edit videos, you know. So um, that would be a coaches only group, guys, like really low, like, really low key, no like scheduled posts. Like we know all of that and we'll have all of that in the regular biggest loser, you know, the huge team spirit group. So it's not going to be stuffy. It'll be literally like, Oh my God, like really lighthearted. <laughs> um, really, really fun. And then it'll just kind of give us a way like a platform for talking about it just as coaches you know not having to hold up a facade for um you know our challengers or whatever and like i loved the idea of being able to talk through how to post about it how to talk um about the nutrition plan which is actually different than every nutrition plan that um is usually included with the um, programs and so it'll be like a different way for us to do that so that will be for anyone doing core to force and like not like doing it right away so doing it for the month of November and um, participating in it I think that it'll be really really huge accountability for me um, I know sometimes in my challenge group you know, I kind of have to hold a strong face and, you know, you don't want to like let up your guard when you're trying to be an inspiration to so many people. And I think that with us coaches, not that we could let down our guards, but I think that it'll be a really good, you know, environment to just talk freely and, um, you know, go through our struggles or, you know, the things that, you know, we're succeeding at, sharing what works and um, going from there if that makes sense to you guys. It'll just be really, just really lighthearted. And um, April has these um, graphics made up that, that talk about like, did you talk about the program today? Did you post about it? Did you do your workout? Whatever. And for me, like I need like that. I need to, someone to be like, it's day one, guys. We're all doing it together. Like, let's do this. So um, that's the plan. And what else do you want me to talk about? You want me to talk about Biggest Loser a little bit? Like, did you cover, do you feel like you covered it? Yeah, you can, you can talk about that. Cause I don't know if coaches will be invited to that or if they can start on the seventh or everybody has to start on the 14th, how that works. We need to talk logistics about that and how, and coaches to get their money in before participants, if they are doing that. So yeah, um, figure that out. And also um, our team call next week is going to be, um, Becca Robinson is in the top 30 of their network and we were going to host each other's call next week. 
And she messaged me and she said, um, so Joel Freeman finally agreed to be on our, on my call. Um, do you want to just combine it? So our team call, we're going to have Joel Freeman. It'll be, we'll use Becca's link, but we're all invited, which will be really cool. So the creator of Core to Force is going to be, um, that's what our, our team call is going to be next week. We get to be live and be able to ask him questions and things at the end. So um, that is next Thursday at 8 p.m. Time with Joel Freeman, which is really cool. Yeah, so I mean, I was thinking um, that we all as coaches would participate in The Biggest Loser. I don't know how you feel about that, but like from a buy in perspective, I wasn't going to tell my coaches that they couldn't buy in. Um, because, first of all, I think the pot is going to be a huge incentive for people to get results in November. November's a really, really hard month as far as holidays um, go. And I think that that extra push of an incentive will be super, super helpful for, first of all, getting us freaking results. Like, we are in the business of being a product of the product. And, you know, hey, shit, I'll lose 4% of my body weight <laughs> in, um, in November, no problem. <laughs> So, um, I, you know, I think that it'll be awesome for all of us to participate and, um, you know, I don't know, what are your thoughts about it? You know, any questions that you have? Um, we were thinking too, because there's going to be so many people, um, uh, I'll collect the Venmos so we could take as many, um, things off of April's plate as possible because, it could be any day, you know, <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'll collect the Venmos. I was thinking of doing the Venmo for um, maybe all coaches ahead of the challengers and kind of like trickling it in because this way it'll be really much easier to keep track of who's participating and whatnot. And the other thing we thought of because, again, there's so much, so many people and so many, um, so many, uh, so much money will be on the line, not the 1.6 million from the health bet, <laughs> um, but there'll be so much money on the line. I think that just to keep it fair, everyone will have to take pictures of their weigh-ins, um, you know, of the scale. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of diet bet, um, but that was what the health bet was, you know, kind of like an inspiration off of. Um, and they, in that, they have to take pictures of the scale. It just kind of keeps things, you know, legit. I don't know. So I think that if you're going to post the number, what's the difference of posting a picture of the number? It's, it, it's not even you. It's like your, your toes. <laughs> so um, anyone else have any ideas or questions or? Um, I have a question. Mullen, is that you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are your thoughts on, um, just because I know I get so many people that just want the base kit um, versus buying the challenge pack. So for the biggest loser, are we going to require the, the challenge pack so that everybody's on a level playing field as far as the Shakeology and the workout? Are we going to let people, because I have, like, I'm sure I have customers that, don't even buy the Shakeology that bought like one base kit and I left them in my challenge group mm -hmm. and they're going to want to be in the health bet. Yeah. Um, so are we thinking like everybody needs to be on Shakeology? Are we thinking it doesn't matter? I'm kind of torn um, because... I know, so am I. Because you'll have people, like I even have people in my challenge group who post like treadmill selfies. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like they're not getting the results the same way. But at the end of the day, I believe that, you know, we're kind of just in the business of getting people healthy and letting them see results. And if they're going to give credit to Beachbody and contribute their $10 and whatever, I mean, okay. I don't know. No, and that's totally fine. And I agree. I just don't want to have all these people saying, well, I don't want to drink the Shakeology and I just run, but I want to be part of it. So, because I know some coaches like require a challenge. Pack. I know. And I've I know. never really done that because I don't feel right telling people you can't be in my group because you're, you can't afford a challenge pack. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else, what do you guys all think about that? I mean, that? I always talk up the Shakeology and say you'll get better results. I really try and get them to at least give it a, give it a month. Um, I mean, I agree. My clients who drink Shakeology 
their results trump the people who don't and it's hands down. I mean, it's, I have that too, but I yeah. think for some reason, I know this, is, this sounds, might sound a little crazy, but I think that the audience for Core de Force is going to be a little bit different than the um, Country Heat audience. And I think that we will get more challenge packs out of that than we would with Country Heat. I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like it'll be people who are, are more committed to like, I, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say, but they're I just, already committed to their health. They're not just looking yeah. for like an easy, an easy workout. Right. And I, I don't, you know, I, I did run, I didn't sell, I don't think one country heat challenge pack. I sold base kits, but not the challenge pack, but I, I agree. It's like kind of, it, um, mean that like take this from where it's coming and like from a good place but like i think that it it was like a i don't like it was like a kind of like a half attempt of like a i think core de force is like a full on intense workout where the nutrition is paired with it and there's non no negotiating that stuff whereas with country heat people were kind of like dabbling i want to dance a little i'm you know, it would, I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense, but. I am looking up right now to see if the challenge pack will be offered with um, performance line. I think it will. I think I saw that in the FAQ. Yep. I just, yeah. So it, it will have a challenge pack and a performance pack. So if somebody wants to buy it with Shakeology or if they want to buy it with the pre and post workout, um, then that's fine. And that's another thing I was thinking with the um, <clears throat> biggest loser is I do have a lot of people that buy performance line on HD. And um, so I think it would be unfair to say everybody has to have Shaco because, you know, that have people that are doing that too. Okay. No, and I agree. I just wanted to make sure that we were all on the same page and like somebody wasn't thinking you have to have Shakeology. And then I have all these people that are ready to go. And then I have to be like, Oh, sorry, by the way, you have to all buy Shakeology. Yeah. And I know there's a ton of coaches that require that, but my thinking is somebody like Sarah, when she first signed on, she, she was a base kit all the way and she didn't want to challenge, um, challenge pack. And so I was like, okay, let's do it. You know? And you just never know what people, and I have people that come to me that already have 21 day fix and then they mm -hmm. my challenge groups and they, they become rock stars. So I just really right. don't ever like turning people away because you never know what yeah. people might do. Well, and I have one girl that her, her goal is by December, she wants to lose 50 pounds. She's never bought a challenge pack, a program. She's never bought anything from me. She had the 21 day fix. She, she was a transfer. Mm -hmm. But she, she credits me, the 21 day fix and my challenge groups to why she's lost 50 pounds. So I just, I don't feel right. Like telling people you have to buy this to be part of it when they're so excited and so motivated. Yeah. I mean, if they're willing to put in the 10 bucks and, you know, work on themselves for the month and work towards their goals, let them do it. Go at it. You know? And you know what, the, the energy, the thing is that I am the hugest believer in challenge groups. And I believe that the energy breeds, first of all, it breeds results and it breeds people who are lifers. It breeds people who love the product. They love the, the network and they want to be a part of it forever. So um, I think that it's like, you know, when you're a part to me, when you're a part of this team and when you're a coach and you kind of like get on these calls and we're all, you know, <laughs> having a drink and all just chilling, it, you, it breeds the future. Like you want to be a part of it. So I think that let them kind of get a, 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 a peek in and, you know, be a part of it. I think all of us and the energy will speak for itself, you know? I agree. All right. So, um, love that. I love that the coach coach test group is just kind of us talking about the program and, um, how to post and things like that too, that it's not like post your breakfast here, or, you know, da, 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 cause we've got enough, enough stuff to do. We're right. in our challenge group. We don't want to add it more. Um, it's just going to be helpful. So yeah, I like that. Oh my gosh, seriously. I'm sitting here eating and this is, this is what Mac is doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For me. <laughs> um, okay. So
So if you guys have any questions about that, just post in the comments. We're going to move on to um, uh, power hours. So the reason why I just wanted to bring this up and just be really casual and, and talk and get you guys' feedback is that before this year, I didn't even do power hours, which is crazy to me. I just would try to work my business all day long. Um, I would, I would be like, okay, well, you know, I'm scrolling through Facebook, so I'm going to find somebody to message. And I didn't actually sit down and say, I'm going to send invites for 10 minutes. I'm going to do this, or I'm going to even say, I'm going to work my business for, you know, 30 minutes. And once I had heard it, you know, people talked about it at Summit. I would be like, what's well, power hour? Yeah, sure, I do like 12 power hours a day. Um, but no, I don't do 12 power hours a day. If I did 12 power hours a day, I would be, you know, I would have been a ball and coach. But what I did was I just was busy and not productive. So power hours have been such a game changer for me because especially because I have extra time, because I work from home full time, it's almost like I'll be like, oh, I can do that later. I can do that later. And so it makes me like just sit down and get it done. So in our team um, page, in our Google Drive, there's a ton of trackers. I've had a couple people make their own. I have, um, you know, it's totally up to you if you want to use your planner, if you want to use Teamsy, whatever. Um, the one that I love the most is I try to find, I'm like a hot mess over here. <laughs> I have to organize my stuff. So what I like the best is this power hour one. You can choose whichever one you want. This one has a ton of pages in it. Um, and it has all my weekly notes. So I take, a, I take my notes at the beginning of the week, my to-do, um, things like that I put there. It's got a cool weekly coach action plan. I'm not going to show you this. You can you can go um, making quality connections. So this is, I use this page for keeping track of my Instagram people um, each week. And then, let me find, okay, so this is like the actual tracking itself, okay? So the first one says add friends. So these are where I'm gonna add the people, write down the people, post likes and comments. That's you engaging with people that have either liked or commented on your stuff, or you going and liking and, and commenting on their stuff. Just getting that engagement going. New conversations, so these are your hey girls. Um, invite, 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 so these are where I'm putting all my invites in. And it, you can check, am I inviting to a challenge group, a coach, or a sneak peek event? And then follow-ups, and these are where all my follow-ups are gonna be, and this is, doesn't matter if it's Instagram, if it's Facebook, whichever. And then you've got little check-ins for your vital behaviors. So this is what works for me, I love it personally. Um, I have, Another, I have like four different trackers in there. You just find one that works for you and you use it. It doesn't matter which one it is. It doesn't matter um, if it's, you know, I like that one because there's plenty of space and it's, I, I print out seven, I print out a whole week at a time so I can flip back through the week to see who I talk to uh, and it's there. So what I like to do is then I put my, um, you can use Streak, I use Team Z, whichever one you use, just use it. And then at the end of my power hour, I've got, you know, five minutes, update your contacts. So everybody I talk to, then I go through and I, I update them. So I know that I, who I talk to and so who I can look back easily and know who to follow up with. Some people love pen and paper. Some people like the computer. Some people do streak, which is awesome and it's free. Some people, people like Teamsy. Um, it's, you can get a free 30 day trial. It's awesome, but it is 30 bucks a month. So you just need to find what works for you and stick with it. But if you are not filling out a tracker every day, you are not treating your business like a business. I'm telling you that right now. If you start out doing this right away, you are going to be, you're like, I don't want to go to bed if I don't have three invites in. Like, what am I doing with my life? Nothing. If I'm not doing three invites a day, then, you know, and I do this full time, like three invites a day is just your bare minimum. If you're a coach, Invite three people a day. Don't go to bed until you invite three people a day. And that just needs to be your mindset. So if you're looking at your power hour and I'll, I'll, Matt will be like, okay, do you want to watch a movie? I'm like, okay, let me just, I just need two more invites. Let me get my two more invites in. So for me, I shoot for, you know, um, lately I've really just been shooting for at least five a day. So I'm like, I just have to get, I just have to get two more invites and then I promise we can push play. But that makes me, ha that makes me realize like, don't waste time scrolling Facebook. Invites are the most important, you know, business moving activity that you can do. 
So it doesn't matter, you know, what you do. Um, Tanner told me about a couple apps that she likes that um, I can show you as well. So um, I haven't exactly figured out. Um, I have it. So this is 3030. And so you can put your power hour tasks on there. And then it will like send a little reminder, a little, you can, a tone or whatever to go to the next topic. So I've got 10 minutes, send invites. 10 minutes, send hey girls. T uh, five minutes, check in with challenge groups and customers. 10 minutes, five, three, one. So I've got all of this stuff here and it's a timer and it's gonna tell me when to go to the next one. Or there's a timer on your phone. If you wanna just, you know, follow the trackers that are, um, in uh, you know the power hour guidelines that are in some of our trackers just set the timer on your phone okay i'm going to send invites for 10 minutes and set my timer and go uh yeah so that's really cool um but just making sure and the busier that you get the more that a power hour is going to help you and um i've had some coaches that they say like you know i uh, my husband said that i was working too much da 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 and so I told him, okay, I'm only going to work two hours a day or four hours a day or whatever it is. But when you actually know, I only have a four hour chunk. So what most important things do I have to do? You know, I think that truly does make you more productive. So I encourage you to plan out your entire day, plan out where your workout is, plan out where your power hour is going to be, plan out where personal haircut, dog appointment, whatever, plan it all out so that you know exactly when you're going to be doing your power hours. And when you're on your power hour, if you wasted 30 minutes in your coach online office or um, on YouTube or Pandora or whatever you're doing, that's on you. And that's time you took away from inviting people and moving your business forward. So um, you really just have to realize that if you're busy, you can't wait till 9 p.m. and be like, oh, I was too busy. Everybody's busy. You just didn't prioritize it. So, you know, if you're, you need to figure out where chunks in the days, whether it's nap time, whether it's um, your work, your lunch break at work, you know, whatever it is, and you need to plan it out. Because if you're not planning it, then yes, it's going to be nighttime and you're going to say, oh, I didn't get to do that. I was too busy. But really, truly, you didn't make it a priority. And that's why it didn't happen. So that is my um, best advice. What do you guys have questions about power hours or what have you found that helps you or, um, you know, I know Danielle and Nicole and Ashley and Rachel um, and Tanner, um, you know, uh, well, I've done a lot of talking about power hours lately. Um, Emmy, uh, or, yeah, I know you guys are really big on posting your trackers and things like that. Um, Dakota, um, Tanner's coach, even, like, makes her own tracker for the month, you know, doing different even includes new challenge groups. I mean, it doesn't have to be fancy, but you guys that are doing it religiously, um, you know, what kind of things are you doing that really has helped you? Can you talk about, or even if you want me to, um, Streak and Teamsy, like for the newer coaches who maybe have no idea what that is? Yeah, so um, Streak is basically in your Gmail, and um, – I'm not good at streak. I set it up, but then I did not um, follow through with it. So let's see. Okay, can you see my Gmail right now? No, it's a white screen. Okay. All right, now? Yes. Okay, so. Yep. Streak is just like up here. It, it's got a couple cool things. Um, it, one, one thing I love is the pipelines, and that's how you can keep track of people. So I've got Facebook, email contacts. I've got new contacts here, you know, contact, interacted with, reached out to, um, invited to coaching. You can, do, you can create pipelines, and then up here, you can, I created these, so they can say whatever you want, and then, you know, their email, their Facebook, so that's how, and then you can just, like, say, I formed them, or I reached out to, then I could just move them here, that I reached out to that person, and they would move to that box, so this is cool, it's absolutely free in Gmail, um, you can keep track of your free group people, um, your coach prospects, like I said, I do not use this. I have not used this since the summer. Um, your challengers, so I had everybody um, in here. <clears throat> oh, wait, coaches, sorry, wrong. I have a question. Yeah. 
Um, I use the Team Z like 30 days and I'm not fully ready to commit to 30 bucks a month with like how much I'm making right now. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna use this, which I've gone and I've tried um, to figure it out. How do you start it? Like all this. And sort it? Enough, quarter, stop. Sorry. <laughs> You're fine. What do you mean? Are you typing? Let's see. Okay. I, I don't, you know what? Um, Brooke Lipoff, Brooke Lipoff, and just search streak training. She's got, it, or just search streak, streak. She has an entire um, YouTube playlist, and she breaks it down into individual videos of how to set it up and answers most of your questions there. Okay. That's how I set mine up. I just watched her whole street playlist, and then I went, like, step-by-step step and set it all up. Yeah, I think it's kind of important to just realize, like, it's going to – it took me probably an hour and a half to set up my streak, but then after that, it's done. And then it's – you know, so you just kind of have to go into it, like, I might spend 30 minutes watching her videos. I might spend an hour and a half setting it up. But that is dedicating time to my business, and it will pay off. So you just have to know that it will be tedious to set it up. But then when it's set up, it's super easy. Um, and like if I, so these are like when I do features, I put people in here. So I could like check this whole thing and then go to more and send mass email. And I could send them all an email that, you know, following up, hey, and set, let them know we have a live event happening tonight at 830. I've done that multiple times where I just, people that haven't, pull the trigger, I will send them an email and just send them the link to our live event on Facebook. Um, or, hey, I know I suck at email, so you probably <laughs> do too, like a Drex like. Just wanted to check in with you. Was like, oh. So um, Alexis is really good with, Alexis and Danielle are really good and in the Dash to Diamond. Alexis did a, a thing on Streak one day as well, so make sure you watch that video. Um, and then Teamsy. <laughs> Like I said, you get the free 30-day trial to try it out. Um, I didn't log into mine today. So Teamsy, you have to put in, like, your goals, and it tells you, like, I think I said um, my, I gave it an income goal that I wanted. So it's telling me that I need to make 10 connections a day to get the income goal that I want. And it's telling me I have to connect with six um, customers and this could be connect, you know, ask for referrals, whatever, and then connect with four of my current coaches. Um, you know, in, how's it going? Three invites and um, adding three people. So what it does is you can import your entire Facebook list and your customers and coaches from your Beachbody website and then you can rank them. And I actually have not gone through and ranked them. Um, you can rank them based off of, like, how much you want them on your team, how much you think they'd be a great client, how much you think they're interested, whatever. It's one through five. So this is going to say, okay, this person, Rebecca Alderman, it's, it's suggesting people for me to f contact with. And then it also gives me people that I need to follow up with. So if I, I'm looking at these follow-ups, it's telling me, and so if I go to Cheyenne and I go to the phone. I'm not sure exactly. So if I just go to search her, because I know that I have put in stuff for her, it, you have like a little note section. It has all her information, um, things like that. Let me go to somebody that I know I like logged something. So what you can actually do is you can um, under notes, oh, maybe I didn't log anything for her. Um, oh, there it is, sorry, activity feed. So I sent her a Facebook message and I can copy it right here and, and it's really easy. Like as I'm messaging her, I copy it and so I know I can go back through and look at the last thing that I sent her um, easily. 
they also have scripts. They also, um, what did you say, Tanner? You can email somebody straight from Teamsy. I forget what you said. They just updated. Yeah, you can email them straight through there. I haven't done it yet. I just got a notification about it. Yeah, so they're always coming out with new stuff. This was actually created by a Beachbody coach, so it's pretty freaking cool because it's really particular for our business. So I can, um, you know, say, like, so this person, I would give her, um, I would rank her as a five, and then, you know, um, you can just do so much different stuff. And there's videos on, on how to do everything when you sign up, so um, it'll kind of talk to you about that as well. But the best part on it is the follow-up reminder because I always forget to follow up. Yes. Or I forget where I'm at with somebody and I'm like, oh shit, I was supposed to check in with her on Friday and mm -hmm. it's amazing because you can set up the exact days. Yeah, so you can set up which day you want to follow up with. If somebody says, oh, well, payday is Friday, I'm going to follow up with them on Wednesday and send them a message like, hey, I, thought, I found this recipe, just thought of you, I'm so excited for you to get started with us on Friday. How are things going? Um, because I don't, you know, I don't want to just wait for people and talk to them every two weeks when, you know, they said, oh, paydays. I don't want to be like, hey, happy payday. I'm back. You got to, you know, keep up with people. So that's really helpful. So any other questions from anyone? Just, just treat your business like a business. That's the best thing you can do. Use your trackers every day. Um, you know, and then you can also use your trackers to look back on. So if you're like, oh, this week has kind of been rough, and you look back and your trackers are pretty bare and empty, it's your fault. That's why I didn't invite enough people. Or, you know, if you're looking back and you're like, this, this week has robbed. What have I done differently? And you see all the new contacts and all the new Hey Girls and all the new invites. You know that that's what you were doing. So um, I just think it's so important to know what you're doing in your business and what you're not doing so that you can really be good at evaluating yourself. And if you guys are reading the 12 week year that we've been doing together, um, that's really great as well to kind of track yourself and, you know, give yourself feedback of how did I do rank yourself and how did I do this week? Um, and so I just can't tell you enough how much tracking your business is so important. And I didn't do it for so long. I can't imagine if I was doing it the whole time I, we would have, you know, been a lot more successful a lot faster but the point is is that we all know that we should be doing it now that it helps move your business forward and you know a power hour a day is really the bare minimum that you need to be doing in your business doing your invites doing your workouts drinking your shake um, doing your personal development and just posting regularly so that you are um, you know also in actively engaging with people and keep keeping people engaged with you so that's all I have does anybody have any questions Oh, I can't breathe. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you guys so much. We have our live What is Coaching event at 8.30. So let's see, Rachel, Sarah, um, anybody else on here doing that with us? Um, yeah, so Angela, uh, Megan Sherman, um, I think that's all of us. So we will be doing that at 8.30. And then anybody that is a new coach that you, um, you know, like a brand new coach, it'll be like the basics of coaching and posting and things like that, um, that you can have them jump on the same team call link that we're on right now at 9.30. And I'm going to do a kind of a 30-minute getting started call um, with them, just kind of teaching them the basics. So um, if you have any, any new coaches, get them to hop on there. And I'm going to um, see you guys all at the live event make sure you go and send a couple more private messages and invite people give them a compliment of why you think they'd be awesome at coaching and um, get them in there so thank you guys so much